All right, here's a new space being created. Just framed out. We're going to put everything down solid. We're just going to throw some mulch on there to hold everything down. It's starting to rain again. On break again. All right, a little bit of mulch on to hold the top on. The rain's starting. I think it's just going to rain for a while. We'll get the rest of the mulch in today and then start thinking about what we're going to plant. Um, we got a bunch of stuff to go there. Some plants, bird feeders, trees. Um, more plants. More trees. All kinds of stuff going in there. To help. Collect more birds. Bring more stuff. Here we are out communing with nature. And what's one of the first things I see? I just had an earthworm here. Just crawled up to me. There he goes. He's hiding in the grass. He's right there. Nature. One of the greatest inventions for dirt ever invented is the earthworm. And we got it. thing is we're putting the ends together with this timber locks that Eddie Hubertus told me about last year when doing some other work. It is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Cuts right through four inches of wood, brings them together, locks it up nice and tight. Simple. Coming together. All that stuff done. All the corners are bolted now. They've all got two bolts in them. They should hold it together nice. So it's going to be a 10 by 10 sanctuary. Where are they? There they are. I got a bunch of yellow finches. See them flying around? There's a bunch there. I also have squirrels attacking my feeders. They're chewing up the plastic pot. I got new feeders with metal. That'll keep the little creeks busy. There's Holly's monument. I think I'm gonna move that down into the into the new sanctuary and make it part of this. Be Patty and Holly's nature sanctuary. It's getting there. Just getting started. Well, there's an idea of kind of where we're going. There's other things going to go there. That's just kind of a temporary layout um, to get an idea of what it would look like. I think it looks pretty cute. Huh. We've got trees. i got some bushes. There's some other things we're going to plant there too. It'll make a nice space and hopefully attract a lot of birds. We'll put more feeders in here too, in the back and up in here. Uh, right now I just got these two new ones. I found out the squirrels up and back were eating the, the plastic ones, chewing the, the doors off. Wise guys, birds are still having a good time eating. But we upgraded. These new feeders I got are metal. The doors here, the entrance ways to feed from, are made of metal so they can't chew them. And that's a little birdhouse that was up on the back, the feeder that was up on the porch. Nice. The yellows are already there. Look at them. I just walked away from that two seconds ago, and they're already showing up. Aren't they marvelous little guys? The sanctuary's working good already.
Now, we've added a couple of extra features. We got the birdhouse bird feeder. We got the little chickadee waterer. We got the big watering in the back. We got a nice little mushroom, a quarter line growing, and a new lighted, lighted hummingbird um, feeder. A bunch of trees, water. That for a start, uh, nature preserve to bring the birdies in. That ought to start bringing some around. They already came. I walked into the house to get something, and the uh, yellow finches were already all over the stuff. It was terrific. It's an inspiration. There's a couple of big birds up there in the trees. I don't know what they're waiting for. But the other guys will be back as soon as I go in. So I think I'll go in. I love this. I'm going to put another level of a birdhouse feeder in an open feeder, a down ground feeder, um, on the on the floor, so that all kinds of birds will be able to feed. Nice. All right, closed for the night. Everything's done. I just watered all the plants. Put water in the bird bath watered all the plants got everything all set up i think i'll stick a couple of lights out here for the night time um, make that happen